All right, welcome everybody to Night Hacking at the JFocus Conference. My name is Stephen Chin, and I'm going to be doing live interviews from the JFocus Pavilion. Um, and I'm joined by Charlie Nutter, who needs no introduction. Hey, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> and just, just yesterday, we were at the VM Tech Summit, which was a really cool new event yep. yeah, that they really added here. Well. It was very exciting. Lots of great folks came out for it. So the, I was trying to think about like, the way of describing like the GVM Language Summit, which is the one we do in Santa Clara, yep. and the VM Tech Summit, which is a new one. I think this will turn into an annual event here in Stockholm. But so my analogy, you, you tell me whether you think this is like a, a good one or not. I was thinking if you were thinking about a, a race car driving. Mm -hmm. So the, the folks who are speakers here or are you know, doing the presentations, they would kind of be like either the drivers, like the race car drivers, or maybe the pit crew. I would be in the pit crew. Mm -hmm. But you guys, you're, you're like the, the guys who actually design the cars. That, that's a pretty good analogy. It's a pretty good analogy. I mean, I it's think kinda... you guys could rip apart the JVM and put it back together. Yep. Yeah, and it's kind of it's terrifying to think of what we're actually <laughs> working on and the people that are depending on it. Yeah, that's an interesting world. Yeah, so that was exciting to me. Since I was recording it, a lot of the recording talks are online on the Night Hacking channel. I also got a chance to watch a lot of the talks as well, which was nice. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Thank you for doing that. But we're here to talk about open source today, and you're, you're a huge proponent of open source. So what are some of the projects which you're involved in right now? Well, I've been, I've been contributing on and off to various open source projects for probably 15 years or so, and more than that. Uh, Lightstep in the 90s I worked on and led that project for a little while. Uh, and then, of course, uh, 2006, getting into JRuby and kind of expanding projects from there. Lots of side work that goes on. Yeah, so probably most recently, lots of supporting projects for JRuby or just work on the yep, exactly. keeping that running. Exactly. Um, and as an open source project leader, what do you like to see in, in folks? Well, we, we try to be a very welcoming community as much as possible. Uh, that's not always the case in all open source projects, but... Uh, we try to take the, uh, the, the approach that we want to treat new contributors the same way that we wish we would have been treated when we started getting into open source. Uh, we also understand that contributing to open source projects can be frustrating sometimes and that people are not always going to be as friendly and, and uh, uh, nice as they might be in person. So, Yeah, well, I mean, most of it's over email or mailing list, so I assume it's a somewhat impersonal communication until yep. you, you meet at a conference or you, you actually get a chance to sync in person. Yeah. Um, what are some things that if, if folks want to contribute patches or changes back to a project, what should they do? How do they go about that? Well, so probably the biggest thing that I recommend is just to uh, not be afraid, not be worried about your own abilities. Uh, most folks that I know that have come to open source when they first started doing it, they really didn't know all that much about the technology. They were interested in it as a user, uh, interested in it because of the technical aspects. Uh, but you know, everybody starts out somewhere, uh, and there's no reason to really be afraid of it. I also make the recommendation that uh, you know, not all projects are as nice and as welcoming as we are in the JRuby project, uh, except that you might get a little pushback. You might have some uh, salty individuals that <laughs> don't treat you with the respect you probably deserve. But you work through it and uh, you know, just stick to the facts and stay technical with it, and you can, you can do a pretty good job. OK. So what, like if I was going to submit a patch to the JRuby project, what would I do? Just like you know, stick my stack trace and complain about? <laughs> <laughs> we definitely get those bugs. We get bugs that are just a stack trace, and then we're kind of left wondering what we're supposed to do about that. Uh, you know, as many details as possible. You know, the same sort of things that you would expect from someone reporting a bug to you. Uh, what would you like to see in a good bug report? Uh, what would you like to see in a good patch? Tests are going to pass. Uh, you stick to the same coding conventions that they're using in the code base. Um, you know, accept some input on your patch as well. Be, be, be uh, ready for some constructive criticism because you're not going to get it right the first time, probably. Yeah, and we probably skipped over this, but why would people want to contribute code back to open source projects? Like, what's the, uh, right. what's the benefit to them as either individuals or their company, like, you know, why? Right, right. Well, probably the biggest reason that I can think of is that without those sort of contributions, none of these projects would exist. Uh, I like to say that the, the most important contributor to open source projects is all of you. Everybody that's out there make these projects actually work, make the whole open source world move forward. Uh, beyond that, I'd say 
you know, there's a, a lot to learn from it. Uh, I've learned a ton from working on JRuby. Uh, it's a great resume builder. It, 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 in my position, uh, in the future, if I'm looking to hire, that's going to be one of the prerequisites. It's going to have to be somebody, somebody who's actually contributed back to the project, has read the source base. Absolutely. Any, any, any sort of contribution, even if it's just helping out on mailing lists, yeah. uh, helping triage bugs, helping other users with the project. Uh, and you know, it's actually quite a lot of fun. Uh, once you get into it and you kind of get the, the groove of contributing to open source, it's hard to stop. So are there any examples of folks who went from just a normal you know, patch contributor or moderator and moved in to be one of the key people in the project? Well, I, I mean, my story is one, a good one. Uh, I came to JRuby in about 2005, uh, had a sort of passing interest in Ruby, thought it looked like a nice language, but I was a you know, JVM guy. I was doing yeah. Java EE applications at the time. I really wanted, a, 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 I wanted to find a way to work on Ruby. Turned out JRuby was already out there. Uh, there was a lot of work that could be done on it, a lot of easy tasks, all ranging up to more advanced tasks, and I ended up kind of becoming one of the co-leads of the project. And we've had more and more folks that have become key members of the project just from starting with one patch. Okay, just working on getting a simple patch through the system, That's working right. on the mailing list and kind of contributing to folks and um, getting yep. it in. Um, so for fo folks who were interested in getting involved in different open source projects, are there any projects you can recommend outside of Ruby which are good open environments for contributing back to? Well, uh, obviously everybody here is you're probably using some form of OpenJDK. Uh, I encourage everybody to take a look and see what sort of activity there is on OpenJDK mailing lists, what sort of uh, want to have tasks there are out there, what sort of bugs there are. Uh, if you have issues that you've seen with particular classes, things that could be improved, algorithmic improvements in some of the core libraries, uh, especially the core libraries up, the Java parts of OpenJDK, it's not as hard as you might think to start getting some patches into the system. Yeah, no, so I know the London Java user group yes, yes. has made it quite easy through some of their efforts, and the JDK team has, has made this even easier to actually simply build and test and run your own version of OpenJDK. Right, right. Um, and uh, the op adopt OpenJDK yeah. project. Yeah. So that I think that's very feasible now. You can just sync the code base and compile it and actually start playing right. around with the JVM right. directly. Yeah, there's been a lot of improvements. Uh, it's actually really easy to get an OpenJDK build working on your system. Make some changes to it. Uh, make a you know write a test. Throw it in there. Build it and see if you can submit it back to the system. Cool. All right. So OpenJDK is a good one. JRuby. Open, JRuby obviously. Um, you know if you're have other languages that you're interested. Uh, obviously, a lot of folks here be using open source Java libraries. Uh, kind of st you stick to what you know, stick to what you see every day. Projects that are important to you, projects you want to see improve. Uh, projects that are just exciting, uh, things that you want to see succeed. Jump in and, and make it happen. Cool, all right, so if you wanted to give everyone a kind of a call to action, I would what, say, what, what are you going <laughs> to recommend for the JFocus attendees here? What, well, for the JFocus attendees, I know everybody's going to be busy uh, uh, meeting folks and, and going to talks and whatnot. But you know, within the next, if you haven't contributed an open source project, uh, contributed to open source or uh, helped out in some way, you know, by the end of February, get a patch into some project. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything big. It can be documentation fixes. It can be cleaning up some code base, doing a little refactoring. Doesn't have to be anything highly technical, but you know, get your foot in the door by the end of February and see what you can do. Cool. I think that's a good New Year's resolution. There you go. And um, now everyone here knows a um, project leader who they can go submit things to and be very happy to get good patches and changes and contributions. Absolutely. Every contribution makes a huge difference for us. All right. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Charlie. I yeah, really thanks. appreciate you taking the time. All right. Thank you. And um, please join us for the upcoming night hacking interviews at each of the breaks here during Dre Focus. We're going to have a, a different speaker or um, person who you can see and um, chat with, ask questions, and interact with on the night hacking Jay Focus stage. So thank you.